Hey guys, it's been a long time, I know, but I decided to randomly film a video and updated not makeup tutorial because I'm just going out tonight and so I decided why not. I think it's been like a year since I last filmed a video or something. Um, a little update. Um, I'm engaged. Nothing else really big. So anyway, maybe go ahead and show you what I do. So let's just get started. I got one of these. I don't know if I used one of these in the last one. I'm moving on. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige. Probably not my color, but I'm a little light, but that's fine. It's fine. I did move up in the world. I did get a, you know, more famous concealer. Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. Again, might be the wrong color, but we're learning, right? Beverage update. Is anyone really surprised? Tonight, we are drinking Barefoot Wine with the sparkly red label. Barefoot Wine, like seven, Maybe to eleven dollars one, perfect. Now a makeup tutorial, more of a look what I'm doing. I'm filming another YouTube video. It's been a year. How are you? How are you doing? It's St. Patrick's Day, by the way. I'm not wearing anything green, but I'll wear something green later. The night where everyone apparently is Irish, right? The night of green beer. How do they make green beer? Is it just tinted? Do they just put food coloring in it? Who started green beer? Well, it's gonna be scary when people start offering you like green shots, but that was my New Year's resolution. Not to take too many shots because me and shots don't mix well. Mix well. Let me get a, should I get closer in that? To look at that ring. Am I right though, ladies? Am I right? Men, take notes. How's that look? Good. Bad. Okay. It'll do. It'll do. Okay. Um, no eyeshadow because that takes too long for me. Go in with the Flower Miracle Matte Lip in Crimson Touch. Look how red that is. You probably can't even tell on the camera. But like, this is so red. Now I need to figure out what to wear. That shouldn't be the easy part, right? I'm not good at a lot of whatever makeup stuff is. I wanna take a drink, my lips aren't dry yet. Not dry yet. I decided to go with, I decided to go with like a green flannel and a jean jacket, black leggings, and then like below the knee brown boots because I didn't want it to be too dressy. Maybe just a little bit casual. Oh, um, perfume, I chose to go with Black Opium by YSL. So I'm just sitting here with my wine, with my bottle of wine. I want to start making videos again. I miss it. I just don't know what of. And like work has me so busy. I mean, when you work retail, your schedule is just not constant, you know? And then me and Drew moved in and I don't get much privacy time. Like I love living with him. It's it's a dream. I love living with my fiance <laughs> and our two dogs. But like you don't get much privacy privacy time. So I'm still getting used to filming and like talking in front of a camera. Um let alone him being in the other room and me being in the kitchen doing something stupid filming on the camera. So that's going to be something that I just need to get used to. Um, we have a kitchen with a little nook so I could rest the camera in there and make like more DIY videos like the candle one. I don't use those candles by the way. Those candles sucked. You couldn't smell anything and they started to burn 
and they wouldn't burn evenly like they would it would just burn right in the middle and then there was count there was candle like surrounding it and it just wasn't burning evenly currently still not in school um trying to go back to uc to study psychology that's a video in itself like when i graduated high school and i went to U of L, I went for a psychology degree and then I went to undecided because I was like, oh, that's not what I want to do. A year later, I go to UC and then I'm like trying to figure out what the hell I want to do, but I'm still taking psychology classes because I transferred to UC under a psych degree because I was like, I don't know what I want to do, but at the same time, it's like psych sounds good, right? And then I take a career decision making class and the class is telling, like it's saying your, your priorities, your values, what you value most to decide what you want to work and all that good stuff. And like, you know, it's leading me towards being a teacher, being an art teacher, etc. And after that, I still don't have the motivation to be in school. I make terrible grades. I, I'm under the status of suspended because I didn't do well whatsoever. I'm not proud of that. But here I am, 2018. I should be graduating college this May, but I'm not. But it's fine. People make their own paths, whatever. And I'm sitting here like, I know what I want to do now. <laughs> I want to go to school for psychology from what I wanted to do from the beginning to be a guidance counselor in a school setting. Because what that class taught me was I value time, time off, and you know, money's great and all, but I'd rather do something that I enjoy and have the time off because working retail since I've been 16, it you don't get time off. It's not constant, especially since I've been promoted and I really don't get time off. So summer off, you know, Christmas vacation and spring break time. That sounds perfect to me while, you know, helping the youths. Am I right? No, there's a deeper story to that and everything, but that's for later. I didn't really elaborate on the part of me being engaged, right? Okay, so story time. Last year, June. It was our three year anniversary and every year me and Drew go to the Purple People Bridge because that's where we used to go to all the time we first started talking when we started dating. We would go there all the time because we lived super close to it. We would walk the bridge, hang out, sit on a bench and so we just do that every year on our anniversary and then we just go to Cheesecake Factory. Um, well, last year on our third anniversary, I went over to his house. Again, I was not expecting this whatsoever. Like I had been talking to him about how I wanted a promise ring and how he was like, the only ring I'm gonna put on your finger is gonna be engagement rings. I'm like, okay, so I'm not getting a promise ring, obviously. But like I wanted one and I had no idea he was gonna propose anytime soon, like anytime soon. Okay, so our three year anniversary in June, I go to his house. And I'm like waiting on him. We're gonna go to the Purple Bridge. And I'm like, okay. On the way there, he's like, how was your mom's job interview? And I'm like, I never told you about this. He goes, oh, uh, your mom texted me like happy anniversary to us. And she said how she's happy for us and stuff. And then she told me about it. I'm like, okay, brush it off. Didn't, I was like, that was weird. But like at the same time, she probably wouldn't do that. So then we get there. And it's fine, like nothing's weird or awkward or anything. So then we get to the bridge and we're sitting there on a bench. And he's like looking around like this. And I'm like, why are you so nervous? You look like you got drugs in your pocket. Little did I know he had an engagement ring in his pocket, but that's just funny to think about after the fact. So he's like, I just, Let's get someone to take our picture. I'm like, Drew, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't, because I don't want anybody to take your picture. And I just, I hate posing in front of other people who deliberately are, are like, let's take your picture. I, I feel awkward. It's not a genuine smile. Anyway, so he stops this couple. So then we, we get up. I set my purse down. He walks over to them. I'm assuming he's saying it's our anniversary. Can you just take our pictures for us? <sighs> So we're standing there and I'm smiling and then like slow motion, 
he turns around to look at me and like I see him get down and I swear to you it's like my mind went blank like it's so hard to remember what he said to me and it's sad that I can't remember I just know he said my full name and he said you know you're my best friend will you marry me but like I was just like what the hell is going on what are you doing and then I start crying and my mind just went blank I felt like I blacked out and he's getting down on one knee and he's saying Norbeth Halei Josephine Tracy will you marry me and I'm just like yes I, I can't speak I can't talk I can't see through the tears I'm crying I'm happy so many emotions while he's trying to put the ring on me I miss <laughs> so he has to grab my hand and he puts to put the ring on me um but I was just like what is happening like it didn't feel real at all because again I wasn't expecting it whatsoever was not expecting him to propose but obviously I'm happy he did but again like I said before men take notes ladies am I right <laughs> am I right though so that was when we got when we got engaged um it was very low-key uh, we don't really like a lot of attention on us anyway. We're low-key. We don't really like much attention on us. It was a very intimate moment. It was just me and him and a stranger. <laughs> just a couple of strangers. Yeah, I just drank a bottle of wine myself. Last year, this time, I really did want to keep making videos and stuff, but I don't know why. I just lost the motivation and commitment and creativity to making the videos and stuff which I hate that I did but you know maybe this will be a new start maybe it's gonna be like a refresh button I don't know what else to talk about I want to make more videos I'm not sure exactly again this is where I was last year I don't know what kind of content but I'd like to make more videos I want to post more I mean I know once we start actually like getting down and planning the wedding is when I want to start making videos too and like record that process and everything but we haven't started really planning the wedding. My Pinterest board is full of what our wedding should look like but we haven't started actually planning and everything. I'm just gonna end the video here and so that was a little catch up on my life of what's going on so far. Thanks for watching. Hope you were safe on your St. Patrick's Day holiday. Hope to see you guys really soon, so see you later.